Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to the next episode in my series of Behind the Raw where I take you through my thought process, my workflow and my editing of an image from a recent shoot and this week it's the turn of when I visited a place called the Old Head of Kinsale and the Old Head of Kinsale is right at the start of the Wild Atlantic Way and I had some beautiful conditions when I got there and I actually had some interesting developments as well. I'll give you a hint, something to do with the Coast Guard. So if you haven't seen that episode, I'll link to it up here. But the image that I've taken actually is one that I really, really like because there was some great light and there was some great um, subjects to photograph in the scene. So I'm gonna jump on the computer here into Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, and I'm going to show you my thought process, my workflow, and my edit. So let's go. Okay, so now here we are, and this is the image that I've chose for this edit on Behind the Raw. And as you can see where I am is at the old head of Kinsale. And this is the entranceway here. If I zoom in to give you a look, uh, this is the entranceway in here. And at the very end of this, you have a lighthouse, uh, which is the old head lighthouse. You can just see the top of it here. Now you might ask, why didn't I go and take a photograph of the lighthouse? Well, the problem is, is that you can't because this is the entrance into a golf course and it's a golf course that runs all the way out here and it's private so you can't go in. So um, I came here and normally you can go here and get some shots along these cliffs and there's some stunning cliffs that are all around here. But for me, I decided to come back up about and over to the right hand side and immediately as I walked up, you can see what caught my attention were these flowers, so these sea pinks or sea thrift. And with this, this, this episode actually was quite interesting because not long after I had come here, there was actually two guys came and they stood uh, right here and they had their arms up like this. I got a shot of them. And then the other thing was, as you can just make out here with the orange coat, this is the Coast Guard. And the Coast Guard were coming along here. They were cordoning off all this area and they were doing some exercises, thankfully, um, and abseiling down the side of this cliff here. Now, as you can see, it's an open cliff. So I thought that somebody had gone over and I was quite fearful, but thankfully it wasn't anyway. But if you haven't seen that episode, I'll link to it up here. But what I liked about here as well was when I I spotted this I also had light that was cascading along the headland here which was absolutely stunning it was short-lived it disappeared not long after this so I'm glad that I got the shot now it would have been nice as well if I had gotten some light in front of me here but I didn't nonetheless now if you look here first and foremost at the settings I took the image as 1 15th of a second f11 ISO was 50 and my 18 mil was the focal length and one of the things that I've noticed immediately when I looked at this image here is if I zoom in, you can see that this is one of the problems that you have with a wide angle lens is that you get bowing in the horizon. So you can see the horizon here is slightly curved and over here it is flat. So that's the first thing that I'm going to attempt to do. And there's a bit of work involved in getting that done. So I'm going to look here and see, okay, can I straighten it up and make it a bit more pleasing? If I look here, it's falling off more on this side and it also is falling off more on that side. So if I look at it and try and get it straight as I can anyway from the first instance there, and then you come down here um, into your uh, lens corrections. And automatically what this does is it creates a profile within Lightroom. So if I look at this here and take this off, now you can see that the image here does look similar, but I still have this curvature over here on the other side. So I'm gonna put this back on because it's gonna try and help and adjust for that, but I'm also going to have to do some manual distortion. Now, if I take this and bring it to the right up here, you look at this area, this is moving. Um, and if I brew that too, too far, I can really ruin the image so I can go the other direction and then I get more of a bow. So for me, I'm going to bring it to this area here and then I'm going to come back and as best as I can, I'm going to straighten that horizon. Now, there it is straight, but it's still slightly curving off on this side, but nonetheless, it's fine for what I want to achieve. Second thing while I'm at that is this is shot at the standard aspect ratio, but I want to change that. So I want to go in here and go to a 16.9. And the reason I go to 16.9 is because this cloud that's up here, whilst it's nice, the top part of it doesn't add anything to the image. So I want it to be 16.9, but I want to make sure that I get rid of the top cloud, but I keep what I have here, which was my star of the show, which was the flowers that were in front of me. So that's the crop done. The second thing that I'm going to do here then on that is I'm going to look and say, okay, what do I need to adjust 
from my settings point of view. Now, again, I made sure that I got this image done right uh, in the field. So it's important that when you're taking your shot that you, you know, get it as close as you can to with the light that you have. I do look here and I see that this is highlighted. So this is telling me that I have some dark areas. I can see those dark areas. It's within these flowers down here. So if I zoom in to give you a look, you can see this blue is highlighted. You click this, it turns on or off. So you can see the areas that are going to be uh, dark. But for here, I'm not going to really do much. It's a pretty straightforward edit, I think. So I'm going to make sure I fit this into the screen so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to look at my highlights. If I bring my highlights up, you can see the left hand side here is just borderline. So I want to make sure that I can bring that down. And if I bring that down, look what happens now. I start getting some detail in those clouds. So I bring it down by, let's just say that much there, I think around 50, 55. If I take my shadows and if I bring those all the way up again, look at all the detail I can get out of these here. It makes the image a lot brighter. I also move the histogram along too. So by getting it there more into the center, but I think probably going to bring that again up by 67 and then on the whites I can play with those slightly so I'm going to give a small bit more white not a lot watching my histogram as well just to make sure that I don't blow anything that's there so again if I look at what's been uh, highlighted here there's nothing nothing blown so I'm okay with that uh, and then on the blacks now the shadows are gone that's no longer an issue but I'm going to bring my blacks down just give it a bit more crunch because you can see on these cliffs it gives a bit more detail on that and now if I look at my usual trick to look for any dust spots take my dehaze whack it all the way up here the image turns to muck but more importantly you can see is there going to be any dust spots that you need to remove so I don't think I've got any here no, I don't, so that's perfectly fine. I do know I have one up on the top up here, but I've cropped it out, so that's not going to be relevant. So I don't think I'm going to give it uh, any dehaze, in fact, because, you know, it was a nice clarity and the light was nice there in relation to that. And then finally, I think what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to look and say, okay, do I want to give a bit more vibrance? Now, looking at the color here, you've got these pinks, you've got these yellows, you've got the light, and that's what really attracted me here. If I look at this light, uh, hitting the side of that cliff and incidentally this is a little area that I started to zoom in when I had my 150 to 600 and started taking some shots of these birds it would have been great if I had been over there at this point because you can see there's a lot of birds that are around this whole area here they are on the water and they're all on top of this and I would have been able to get a much faster shutter speed but um, unfortunately I didn't have that so what I am going to do is I'm going to look and say okay do I give it a tiny touch more vibrance so if I just go a small bit more you can see now that it starts to pop and and if I look at the before, there's not much of a difference. All I've done effectively is just brought out more of the detail within that image. I'm not going to do anything else, I don't think, to that image at all, because for me, it works perfectly fine. I really like the whole aspect of how it kind of curves around here and leads you out to this. And then you can just see the lighthouse here, which is on the very, very end of the peninsula. Um, also as well, when I look at this image here, it reminds me of the scenario that I had, which was, you know, again, this is the start of the wild Atlantic way, but look at the water. It's completely flat and that can happen. Obviously, you know, we don't always have to have uh, crazy waves, but it was still nice nonetheless. And these p sea pinks as well are only out for a short period of time. So I'm glad that I was there to catch that shot. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of my thoughts behind this image if you haven't seen that episode like I said link to it up here um, join me next week when I've got an interesting announcement to make I've been working really really hard in the background on my photography location guides and I have completely redesigned them from the ground up so I'm looking forward now to sharing all of those updates with everybody so thank you very much for your support so far thank you very much for joining the channel if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time Schlange Gefall. <music>